Hey friends, today we are hanging out at the Magic Kingdom. There are a ton of new food items that I wanted to come out and try today, including the walking taco over at Pecos Bills, and then baklava at Pinocchio's Village House, and then also the Magic Band Plus was released today. So we're gonna see if we can get our hands on one of them and then test out all the features and just have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho, let's go do this. I have to say it is great to be back in Florida. I just got back home from San Diego. I was over there covering the San Diego Comic Con and I was a little sad I wasn't able to make it over to Disneyland since I was in California, but I know I'm gonna be heading there for D23 and I'm so happy that I get to come home and come home to this. Like I get to come home to this, this is my home. It is super hot out today and I kind of got used to that San Diego weather. It was so beautiful over there. The weather is like honestly like a perfect pool temperature. You ever stick your toes in a pool and it's like the perfect temperature? That's how it feels when you're walking around that area. When you get back to Florida here, I'm like, ooh, the humidity is so high. It's so hot, but I love it. Like I said in the beginning, there's lots of new food that I'm excited to try, but I'm also excited to see if we're going to be able to get one of those Magic Band Pluses. We're going to head into the Emporium and see if they have any in stock. And what is with Disney doing everything like with the Plus? We have Disney Plus, Magic Band Plus, Genie Plus, and I hear the lines to actually get the Magic Band were pretty long this morning, so hopefully they didn't sell out. Also, I'm pretty sure when they first changed Fast Pass, they called it Fast Pass Plus. So there's lots of different pluses. Let me know if I missed any in the comments below. And the thing that makes these Magic Bands a Magic Band Plus is they are basically interactive. They're customizable. Uh, you can change the colors. They have uh, feedbacks to it. They have vibrations. Uh, a couple of special things that you could do at Hollywood Studios. You could do like bounty hunting with them. And we're going to do that later on in this video. We're actually going to head over to Hollywood Studios meet up with some friends and we're gonna do a little bounty hunting uh, they are used to actually navigate through the park so they'll let you know when you arrive at your destination uh, there's a lot of different things oh they light up with the fireworks I think that's really cool so we're gonna see what it's like you know what I mean I'm not very tech savvy so we're just gonna wing it well here they are it looks like there's plenty in stock and it's I think it's like two o'clock in the afternoon I know that a lot of people came out for like rope drop so they can get their hands on it because they were afraid that they were gonna sell out but if they're still here at two o'clock in the afternoon that means Disney has plenty of them in supply but you can see look at look at the crowd around like everyone's trying to grab one I've heard that a couple of the more popular bands have already sold out and the plain ones are just $34.99 but any of them with the design are $44.99 and they're stocking them as they're they're selling them right look at you you're doing a good job I'm gonna have to figure out which one I want to get though there's so many to choose from from what I've been told, the Four Parks one is very popular, and that actually is the one that sold out here, and then anything with the 50th anniversary in the castle. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to show you all of them, but I'm gonna just select a couple of them, and then narrow it down which one I wanna get. All right, so I narrowed it down to these three. We have the Orange Bird one, which I absolutely love right there in the middle. Then we have Iron Man, and I kind of like the Iron Man one because it reminds me of an arc reactor. And then we have one of the regular Magic Bands, which is just black, and I kind of like that as well. And I'm not too sure, we're gonna have to decide. Now I am officially a proud owner of a Magic Band Plus, and I didn't get one of the ones I showed you. I actually got a different one, and I love it. Here it is, the Walt Disney World one, the Four Parks one. As I was talking about how it was popular, they brought out a separate little case and they started restocking the shelf and I was able to grab one. I love this one because it has Epcot, it has the Tower of Terror, the Tree of Life, and of course Cinderella Castle and that awesome Walt Disney World logo. I'm so excited that I got this one. It's like perfect for me. All right, here it is. And I did get an annual pass discount with this. So that is really awesome. You save a couple bucks there. And I also have my fuel rod because anything, any new electronics doesn't come like fully charged. So it's only probably halfway charged. And it does have the charger in the back already included. And I'm excited, but be careful though. Make sure you pick the one you want because just like any other Magic Bands, there is no refunds or exchanges or returns. So the one you get is the one you have. And I am proud about the one that I got. 
Make sure you guys tune in to the end of the video and I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts with using the Magic Band Plus. Like I said, I'm not gonna knock it until I actually use it for a whole entire day. So at the end of the day, we'll recap all the things I liked about it and all the things I probably don't like about it. But we'll wait, we'll wait to the end. I wanted to show you guys the quick, easy setup through the My Disney Experience app. All you have to do is go in, log in, find the Magic Band Plus, and then hit link. And then it's gonna have you open the scanner so that you can scan it like over top of it, which I think I'm doing right now, close to your device. That's where I'm at, right here. Unless I shut it off, did I shut it off? Let's see, two, three. There we go, I think it just turned back on. Well, everything's on. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Oh, it did it! Hold your man close to your device. There we go. We got it on the wrist now. It's all ready to go. And to be honest, now I'm not a big like watch guy. I love the Magic Bands. I don't even own a smartwatch. So I was very content with just the Magic Band being the Magic Band. So I'm excited to see how I like this or not. I mean, I do like the Walt Disney World design on the front. I think that's really cool. So I don't know. We'll just see how it goes. I was just walking by the purple wall and my thing actually vibrated twice. So I think we have to wave at Stitch, happy to meet you, friend. Be happy too. Thanks, Stitch. Look at it worked. I literally was just walking by and I heard like, I felt like a like double pulse, a double pulse, look at my fist. And I waved and he interacted with me. That was the coolest thing ever. Now that the Magic Band Plus business is taken care of, I want to get something to eat. So I think we're going to head over to Pecos Bills first and try the walking taco. You guys don't know what a walking taco is. It's basically a taco in a bag of Fritos. And uh, I'm excited because I love Fritos. And Pecos Bills always has some good food. I mean, for me, quick service wise, I think Pecos Bills is pretty darn good. And uh, some of the other 50th anniversary treats, they're all a part of the 50th anniversary, but they just keep on re-releasing new ones. And I'm here for it. And here we are, Pecos Bill, featuring the best grub in the West. Fajitos, tacos, burritos, burgers, nachos, churros. Lots of errs, O's. All right, I have mobile ordered the walking taco here at Pecos Bill's, and I have to say, I'm impressed. I am very, very impressed because certain things I don't like, but uh, they basically everything comes on the side so you can customize it and I didn't think it was gonna be that way And now I am like more excited for this. It looks fantastic and it was only $9.99 I have to check but I'm pretty sure it was only $9.99 and that is a heck of a deal Okay, it was $10.99 not $9.99. I do apologize for that, but here it is I don't want to make a mess the walking taco on the go and take a look inside here. It looks so amazing I absolutely love it We've got the black beans, we've got the rice, we've got the Fritos in there, we've got the ground beef, jalapenos, and then they uh, give you lettuce and tomato on the side, cheddar cheese, sour cream, and chunky salsa. So you can just add it and mix it through so like you can make the perfect combination. And I am stoked, I am so excited to eat this. And you can just carry it around with you, that's the point of it. It's a walking taco. I'm just gonna dive right on in. I can't wait to taste the beef in there and uh, give it a go. A++, I love it. I really, really do love it. I love it when the Fritos get like a little bit soggy, but not all the way soggy. Like you don't want them like too soggy. No one's got time for soggy Fritos. And also you wanna save the sour cream because you don't want that to get all like warm and melty. So you gotta be quick with that. But this is the perfect combination. I love it. Plenty of food and it's hefty. Like, it's a big one. It's hefty. The beef is perfectly seasoned and now I kind of want to go walk with it. I want to walk my taco. Now I have decided to drop a little salsa in there. A little chunky salsa, medium style. It's gonna get a little bloop, 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 bloop. Perfect. I really wanted to show you guys what it was like to actually walk and eat my taco because of the walking taco, but I realized I can't do that because I don't have enough hands with the camera and the walking talkie. Walking talkie. Walkie talkie. So I think I'll let the, uh, I'll set the camera down and show you guys. And that's basically what it's like to walk around with a walking taco at the Magic Kingdom. 
I want to test out the Magic Band Plus and see if it grants me access for pulling the sword in the stone. Now, I don't know if that's a part of the benefits, but if it is, I think they'd sell a lot more Magic Band Pluses. All right, we're gonna see if the Magic Band Plus is out. Oh, see if I can do it again. Woo. Here we go. No. Nothing. Nothing. Didn't work. That was for JoJo, but no luck. I'm still not worthy. Not worthy enough for the Sword in the Stone. Now we're gonna make our way into Pinocchio's village house to try the baklava. But first, I wanna go see if the Magic Band Plus is gonna work on the statue over here of Pinocchio. I think the interaction with them, they light up and they speak. So we're gonna test it out and see how it goes. As soon as I got close, it actually vibrated like two times. But I don't know if it's gonna do anything. Do you wave? What do you do? Just, if you wave like this. Wave like that? Yeah, just Wave at them. And they Ooh. I'm gonna be a real boy. A real boy? It worked. I, I'm so happy it worked. I, <laughs> this is, we were trying so hard and then it was like, just wave. Yeah, just wave. That's all you had to do. Holy moly. I don't know if it's gonna do it again, but you heard him. You heard him. I'm being a real boy. I got so excited over him talking. And it's kind of funny because he's a statue and he's saying he's gonna be a real boy. So it's really cool. And as soon as I approached it, like as soon as I walked up to the statue, it first vibrated like twice. And then when I got there, I waved and uh, he spoke. Also, I want to point out, check out this really awesome sticker I got from the PhotoPass photographer in front of the Sword and Stone. Hero of Fantasyland. I'll take that title any day. I just got a notification that our baklava was available. I mobile ordered it and I love coming into Pinocchio's. It's so pretty in here, isn't it? It's so nice and it kind of looks like it's daylight even when it's not daylight. Looks like we're outdoors like at a fancy German like market. And of course I had to come up to my favorite place, the second floor of Pinocchio's Village House and uh, let's dive into the baklava. I really do love how they're doing different countries' food uh, for the 50th anniversary treats here at uh, Pinocchio's. I think last month was the Tres Leches. I, I'm not too sure. I can't remember. I did come out and try it, and now we're in Greece. And I love baklava. I love pistachio baklava the best, but this one's going to be really good. I like how they put a little hit of Mickey uh, with the whipped cream on top there. I thought that was fancy, and I like it. I like walnuts, too, so we're going to dive in, and uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. This looks so good. All right, here we go. And I love the crispiness. Make sure we get some of that whipped cream on there. A little dabby dab, and perfect. I hope it'll get whipped cream in my beard. That is amazing. I love it. So good. Can you hear that crispness in there? Wow. And the whipped cream just adds the perfect little touch to it. It's hard to get apart though. But I love it. When you get a good bite, you get a good bite. This definitely is going to be my new favorite treat for the 50th anniversary line that they have here. This is so good. Like, I feel like this belongs at Food & Wine. Wow. Now, this is labeled a traditional baklava. And it's walnut with uh, honey simple syrup. But I love this. Like, it is so good. Like, I'm still shocked. I haven't even eaten my little candy here. You know, a little candy, and I ran out of whipped cream. I should have got more whipped cream with it. I just love sitting up here and looking out at the view. It is so amazing. I know I showed it here before, but it is such a beautiful view from up here. And you can't beat it with a little baklava. I dropped my baklava. But seriously, look at that view. This is my view. I'm sitting right here, eating my baklava, and this is, this is what I'm staring out at. It's beautiful. I love being at the Magic Kingdom. I decided to buy Genie Plus just so I can test out the Magic Band Plus and I'm gonna do the Barnstormer. Look, there is one, an available lighting lane in three minutes. So I'm gonna book it and then we can test out the effects. Bada boom. I am now just realizing I paid $15 just to see if my $44 Magic Band Plus works when I touch it at the lightning lane because I don't think we're going to ride anything else. I do plan on heading over to Hollywood Studios and meeting up with some friends and we're going to do some cool things with the uh, Magic Band Plus that you can only do in Hollywood Studios, but uh, at least we get to ride the Barnstormer. Testing out the Magic Band Plus. I don't know how it works. It did. Oh, it vibrated. Oh, that's 
cool. Yeah, it vibrated. I couldn't tell if there was any other like additional colors, but uh, it'll do that whether it's charged or not. Like. If if the if the Magic Band Plus isn't charged and it's dead, then it's just a regular Magic Band. But it did vibrate. It did some funny stuff. I liked it. It kind of felt funny. And there was no point in doing Lightning Lane. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, that's uh, that's the separation part. But it was well worth it because we got to test that bad boy out. I wish Tron would run though, because that would be kind of cool. Look at it. It's almost done. It's almost built. Look at that tunnel's coming along pretty well. This is really, really nifty. I'm so excited for that. I bet you it's gonna look so pretty with the Magic Band Plus in there. Cause you know, oh my lord, it's running. Oh my lord. Look at that. Wow. What are the chances of that, I tell ya. So lucky for me to just walk up like that. Huh, I love it. <laughs> that is so cool, I got to see Tron actually running. Like that was like, perfect timing. Front row on the Barnstormer, and I like how it kind of starts with a fork in the road. This actually goes back. This is where the Barnstormers go at night to sleep, and this is the way for the attraction. How funny would it be if we just went that way? Oh, I love this ride so much, though. I'm going to be honest. It does go by very fast, though. Oh, God. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Look at that. Looks like no rain today, either. Oh boy! Woo! Look at those hats! <laughs> I don't want to lose my hat! The propellers are spinning! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh! Woo! Woo! <laughs> coming in! Coming in! Oh! And... We're done. <laughs> so fast. Fly again soon. I love, I've never noticed that the propellers spin really up front. Look at that. Well, it was really fun to ride Barnstormer, but I think we're gonna start making our way back down Main Street, walking down Main Street. I should have kept my walking taco so we could have walked down Main Street with a walking taco. That would have been awesome. And, and then making our way over to Hollywood Studios. I don't want to alarm anybody, but this is the end of the line for Space Mountain. It's almost leaving Tomorrowland, and it's not going straight to Space Mountain. It's actually wrapping all the way around. I feel like I have to give you guys like a little time lapse. Are we back like two years ago? Is this two years ago? I'm so confused. Like this is craziness. I have never seen it like this except for during the pandemic. But I'm going to give you guys like a little like walkthrough just to see what it's like. But this is all the people waiting in line to ride Space Mountain. And it's saying it's only a 45 minute wait, which I, I don't believe it is. It can't be 45 minutes. Like, this is insane. At first I thought it was the people mover, but wow, look at this. It even switched backs. I can't even believe that. This is something else right here. Holy moly. Yep, and it goes straight right into Space Mountain. That is shocking, isn't it? Wowza. Anybody that hops in that line right there and thinks it's gonna be a 45 minute wait must be new here. Like, <laughs> there's no way. There is no way. I love walking down Main Street USA and seeing all the people coming in and they all have smiles on their face and they're all excited for the day. It's always, and also you can always spot out the people like their first time walking down Main Street. They're kind of in awe and they're just looking around. That's how I am. I just love it. Now we're gonna use our Magic Band Plus to teleport over to Hollywood Studios. How cool would that be? Like seriously, how cool would it be if you could just like tap away and then teleport to a different part? That'd be pretty fancy. Just like go like this. And just like that, we are at Hollywood Studios. Well, that was a little bit cheesy, but I am the same person who thought having the Magic Band Plus would help me pull the Sword in the Stone. And now I'm going to show you guys what it's like to check into the park. So I'll show you what it was like checking in here uh, with my Magic Band Plus. Have fun, guys. Thank you. All right. Yes, Trying the new band. 
there it goes. Kind of cool. Vibrate it, change colors. I liked it. Have fun. <laughs> well, we used our magic band. I mean, it flashed up, it changed different colors, it vibrated. But I have to be honest, I really love when I have a special edition magic band that does a special effect or does a, a certain noise and stuff like that. I hope that they're going to do something with magic band pluses in the future. You know what I mean? Or else I would just keep on using my regular, like, limited edition magic bands. And I have some great ones. Like, I have ones that, you know, sing songs like Boo to You or the, uh, the Epcot one that I want to get so bad. The one that says Reflections of Earth. You know what I mean? I really hope like Magic Band Plus actually does that again like, for those ones as well. And then I might be on board. But now that we're here at Hollywood Studios, let's meet up with our friends and do a little bounty hunting and uh, just use the Magic Band Plus a little bit more, get some drinks, maybe ride some rides, just have some fun. Well, I was able to meet up with my friends and then it all of a sudden started raining. But we're here and we're here to test out the Magic Plus, a Magic Band Plus, and then also some shenanigans with Sean's shirt. Look at this. So, not yeah, knives yeah. were involved. Just What's remember, going on right now? Remember, film this way so you can't see anything going on in the background. Oh. I'm going to leave this all in no context. Yeah. <laughs> like, like literally no context. But I'm excited cuz you got Maria here and you got Chris LBV TV. We got Jonathan over there. We've got Ashley. <laughs> We've got Promise and then Sean right here. Another cool thing that I just found out about the Magic Band Plus is this one you can only get from Tatooine Traders? Yeah, it has. Only Grogu. On Look at it. that. Little Grogu only at Tatooine. Very, very fancy. I don't know if you can see it or not. I like it. He's super cute, super comfy, like and you can choose what color it lights up. So I chose red because look course. at the cool Star Wars little vibe there. Really I cool. like it. I'm sold. I want one. Let's go. Let's go. Looks like the rain might uh, rain on our parade here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we can do much with the Magic Band Plus if it's a downpour like this. It's like kind of starting and stopping, starting and stopping, but I do want to see it at night because if you see it at night, you're going to be able to see the Magic Bands light up a little bit more, like mine's blue right now. The rain never bothered me anyway. Ah! <laughs> Holy moly. Sideway rain! <laughs> this is a really cool example to show you guys that sometimes things don't go the way that they are supposed to go. Like the way that you plan them. We were supposed to come here, show some of the cool stuff, but we got, uh, you know, hit with the rain. So instead, we just kind of hung out and now uh, the rain is stopping and we're gonna go uh, do our Magic Band Plus thing. And then, we're going to Oga's. So like that's a that's a great day. If we don't film oh, it, I'm all the magic the band should be <laughs> pulsating right now. Oh, it's going crazy. Is it pulsating? Once you get close to them, it should start. Yep. I feel the oh, vibration. Yep. So cool. And then once you get up to it, all you're gonna do is just wave at them. I feel the oh look, they're doing it. Let them wave first. Okay. Mine's waving. I'm going up to wave. Go for it, Nate. Alright, Nate's going. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Gonna wave. <laughs> it zaps. All right, we've made it down the Batu. And Chris, you're gonna explain oh, what's yeah. going on with the so bounty hunting. Here, so you had to download the Disney Play app. Yeah. So now we're ready to collect our bounty, or we're gonna go on our first mission. So we're here at Blackspire Outpost. We're on the scan my brand new Magic Band Plus, and then the, now I'm gonna have to find some place around Batu a bounty, and I'm the bounty hunter. And I like it. It's, yeah, so I'm looking for criminals, guys that have been, you know, arrested or trying to evade being arrested. And I'm gonna scan here yep. at Batu Secondary Outpost, the, the Batu Outpost, and they're gonna give me my next mission because I'm already a four-level bounty hunter. So I'm game. Are you guys ready? Let's yeah, go. We're ready. Here, we're gonna find our happy hunting. Who's our next bounty? So, we are here. so I'm gonna scan. It's green. Jaga. 
Bador. And oh, so we that, have to find him. So that came up on my phone as well. So Jaga, that's who I'm looking for. And so now what's going to happen is every time, everywhere I walk around Batu, my my magic band is either going to be green or red. If it's green, then I'm walking in the correct direction. Okay. If it's red, I'm not walking in the correct direction. It's like the let's go get that job off. <laughs> let's go get that job off. Let's go find Jaga. <laughs> This is really, really cool. And you guys definitely have to check out Chris's channel, LBB TV. I'll put a link for everyone's channel in the description, but they're gonna have a little bit more of an in-depth like, coverage, in-depth coverage of the whole entire bounty hunting thing. I think it's really awesome. I think it's really, really fancy. Mm. What are we messing with? Jaga. We're getting Jaga. Jaga? Jaga? He's, so, he's, he's sold so toys. toys. I know. Yeah. Jaga did? He sold toys in the marketplace. So we have to go to the marketplace to find him. But <laughs> you the bounty? No, he served you. Is there someone hiding here? Chris. Where's Jaga? Hey, I remember you. Oh, thank you. You were with Jaga. Yeah. Oh, I'm leaving that in. Oh, Jojo, what a burn. I just sent him a little holo scan. I just pulled it out recently. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Basically, to sum it up, to bounty hunt is you have to walk around and it's like hot or cold. If it lights up red, you've gone too far and it starts pulsating like super fast when you're getting close. And when you do find them, it lights up purple. And that's when you collect the bounty. That's when you catch them. So that's what Chris is kind of doing. He's like going all over, checking everything. It's red, no. Try that door, try that door. Go green again. That one. The bathroom. Yeah, go, get, go grab the guy out the stall. Do you think Jaga's in the bathroom? Yeah, he's not in the third stall. Go grab him. It's red. Bounty hunting is actually a very difficult thing, so I think we're gonna go, you know, recharge our batteries. And the best place to do that here in Galaxy's Edge is probably at Olga's Canteen. <laughs> Chris has found Jaga. I found Jaga, guys. All right, and I tap to activate, search in the doorway. Wow. Oh, there he there is! He is. Oh, there He's there, we got him. Right, right, who's grabbing him up the stall? <laughs> What's he doing in well there? Now oh, right. you gotta grab him. Tap to report. You got him, Found tap him. to report. Target located, congratulations. He's Collect your credits. Collect our credits. Wow. So now we're gonna go back Sorry. and get our credits. That's All where right. we're going now. We're gonna go back oh, we gotta and go, go back credits. and get our credits? Yeah. Oh, let's go. What is that over there? Chris is actually gonna go Get his credits I'm now. Get my credits now. I'm very closer. excited to see this actually happen. Closer and closer. We gotta buy the, the bounty hunters guild. The more credits I get, the more chance I have to join the guild. And now when I get my credits. Hunter on our hands, or you got lucky. <laughs> Only time will tell. For now, here are your credits. Thank you. Let's take those credits. Five hundred seventy-five credits. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got some credits. We got some credits. Chris is taking us all to Ogas with all of his credits that he's gotten. That's the way. That is the way. <laughs> and the best way to celebrate a successful bounty capture? Ogus Canteen. Cheers. There we go. Oh, hey, 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 yes. Hey. Love it. This is what I'm talking about. This is a good day right here. This is a good day. This is the place to be. Yep. <laughs> and with that, I think we are done here today. I had so much fun going from Magic Kingdom over to Hollywood Studios, hanging out with some friends. The rain didn't damper the spirits at all, which that's the way it should be. You should still have fun in Disney, even though it's raining. And yeah, it was a great day. I do have to say, 
after playing around with the Magic Band a little bit, or the Magic Band Plus, I feel like it is really great here at Hollywood Studios for the bounty hunting, but I mean, I, I don't see a lot out of it uh, other than like, the fireworks maybe, that's about it. I mean, the statues are really cool, and then seeing the notification when you're close to where you're supposed to go, that's also fun as well. But I really miss like the customization. Oh, I don't miss it because they do still exist. But I really want to see like special edition magic bands, things that say certain things, things that light up and change colors or have a song to them. Those are the things that I like most. You know what I mean? And if Magic Band Plus can incorporate that, then I think it's going to be a hit. I really do think it will like will be a hit. And uh, till then. I think I'm gonna stick to just my regular magic bands. I mean, as much as I had enjoyed, unless I come here and do bounty hunting, I like going to the parks with my Galactic Star Cruiser magic band or uh, my uh, very merry like uh, Christmas party one or the Halloween, uh, the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween one. Those ones, they, they do special effects and I like it. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. My glasses are probably super fogged up now. But let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, about uh, Magic Band Plus, and we'll see you next time. Bye!